Hey guys, it's Christina Marie here with New Music Tuesday and I'm excited. You guys already know this. Um, I am a directioner. Today is the day of 1D and take me home. And so that's what I did. I took them home. <laughs> um, so before I start reviewing the actual content, um, I'm in the process of uploading my no vlog for day 13. And uh, on there, it'll show you my journey of what I of what I went through to get the album. Um, now, as you know, they came out with three versions of the album. They came out with the regular basic one. They came out with a deluxe Target special edition, and then they came out with a yearbook edition, which um, is a deluxe, another deluxe version. So uh, the dilemma then came became which. Um, edition do I get? Do I get the deluxe edition from Target or do I get, and I'm getting cross-eyed, or do I get the yearbook edition? And so I went to Target, did my whole thing. And so when I got to Target, yeah, I made a decision. And let me show you guys the decision that I made. Yeah, I got both. Now let me explain. So when I got to Target, I just, I looked at the back and I said, okay, but Target has five new tracks. The yearbook one has four extra tracks and not five new tracks, but five extra tracks and four extra tracks. And so I said, obviously Target would probably be the better deal because they have more tracks. But then, um, I just couldn't decide because the yearbook edition is so freaking cute. And on the inside, they have like different pictures of like the guys with their fans and the guys talking about each other like there's a page on Liam talking about I mean sorry there's a page of Liam with the guys talking about Liam page of Zane with the guys talking about Zane Louie Harry Niall so that was really cool I mean it just uh documents their whole two years as One Direction it's been two years so um I thought that was pretty awesome and so I also wanted to get the Target Edition because they have different songs, so I couldn't just choose, so don't judge me. But anyway, on to the actual content. You guys know how excited I was. You, they released a streaming, a live streaming of their uh, album about a week or so ago, so I was listening to it every day up until the release uh, at midnight, which is when they took it down because they had to release it. Um, so this morning when I woke up, went to Spotify, there it was, I got it, started streaming it and just getting myself excited and in the mood for the day of 1D. Ah! Um, so went to Target, picked up both albums, listened to all the tracks and I already have my favorite track. So let me tell ya. Okay, so from the basic set list, like the basic tracks, uh, my favorite out songs are Kiss You, Little Things, Last First Kiss, I Would, and They Don't Know About Us. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, of those five that I listed, Last First Kiss is my favorite. Now, the reason why I love, love, love this album so much is because they actually participated in the co-writing of some of the songs. And I believe Last First Kiss was one of the songs that they co-wrote. Let me just double check. Yep. They co-wrote Last First Kiss. They co-wrote, um, let's see, they co-wrote Back For You. They co-wrote Summer Love and then one of the bonus tracks, Irresistible, which automatically takes you a step up on my list when you um, are participating in co-writing your own song. So thumbs up 1D for that. Um, then for the bonus tracks on the yearbook edition, I love three of the four the most. I love all four, but I love three of the four the most. Uh, loved You First, Nobody Compares, and Still The One. And then the honorable mentions come from the uh, Target Edition, which um, there's a song called Magic that I really like. And then I Wish, which is basically, I Wish is from their first album, but it's a live version and it's my favorite song from their first album. So I really, really like it. So it's an honorable, honorable mention. Now, do I prefer the Target Deluxe or do I recommend the Target Deluxe edition versus the yearbook edition? Which one do I recommend? 
I definitely recommend the yearbook edition and let me explain. Um, though the Target edition, I took out the cover, though the Target edition comes with five bonus songs, two of them are songs that we already technically have. They're just live versions. One thing and I wish. So they ba it basically comes with three brand new unheard songs. Um, Truly Madly Deeply, Magic, and Irresistible. These songs are good songs, but they don't grab me as much as the songs on the yearbook edition do. All four of them grab me a lot better than the Target edition ones. Um, and they're, they're called She's Not Afraid, Loved You First, Nobody Compares, and Still the One. This, the song, the songs are really, really great. The bonus ones. And then it comes with this cool book. So, you know, I think that's just a better thing. I am just... I recommend the yearbook edition, but if you got the Target edition or you got the basic one, that's great. I'm sure Spotify will, is a, well, Spotify is streaming the yearbook edition now. The Target edition is just going to stay strictly to Target, so you might want to go purchase that if you're curious as to what it sounds like. It's your basic pop boy band album. All the songs are great. I love all the songs, but I have favorites, as I've mentioned before. So I am super stoked. I am so happy that they released this album, and yeah, so... You guys, leave comments down below letting me know what songs are your favorite. If you love the album, I would love to have conversations with you about Direction, One Direction. We are Directioners. We got to stick together. Um, and I'm also thinking of possibly doing a giveaway of another yearbook edition. I can very easily just go purchase another one for you guys if that's something you would like. Um, so leave a comment down below just letting me know. And yeah, make sure you just like this video and subscribe and you can just see... Uh, me on my One Direction adventures. So until next time. Oh, whoop. I was supposed to talk about Christina Aguilera's new album. Um, yeah. So she bought, yeah, she, it's out there. <laughs>